When you think of fall, you might think about a day trip to Julian. Heather Lake is live here this morning with the ways you can taste the season. You can't do fall without Julian, in my opinion. Oh, I know. And a good start is getting apple pie, right? So we started at the Julian Pie Company. You can grab pie. You can grab what they have of these new things called memories, which is pie crust, but it's basically like a cookie pie crust. So delicious. I may have had a few on my way over here. So we are at the Tea and Craft Cottage. This is so cool. So a historic home that was built back in the 1800s and now filled with more than 600 teas. You can get a proper tea right now. You can make reservations for outdoors, but inside you can come in the retail shop. They have two floors full of teas, even little mini tea sets for the little ones. I know it's so adorable, but they've got all kinds of really cool stuff that you can come in here. So if this is something that you're into, or maybe you just want to discover something new in Julian, you could pop over here, check out all the things they have. Maybe you're looking for a gift. Look at all the little tea sets they have too. So it's kind kind of cool to just walk around, take a look, even see some recipe books, get into the mind of fall. Speaking of which, she has got so many flavors. Edie is uh, the woman, the owner behind all of this, Edie. And um, you have been, I'm going to take my mask off since we're sitting down. We can now do that at a, at a, at a table. And um, this is your setup for indoors. I know this is special for us to show because eventually you'll be back inside doing what you love, which are these tea setups. But you guys do a proper tea for people to come out and enjoy. Okay. What are the fall flavors that you have on the menu now? Okay, well, what you are seeing in front of you is our typical cottage classic tea. It starts with a soup, and this is our house pumpkin soup. And then we have a tray of finger sandwiches, and they vary by the season and the theme. And then you have your other next course is your scones course, and Yum. it's our buttermilk scones, which we serve with our homemade lemon curd jam. And then we finish up with a dessert, and our dessert is usually... Uh, our house bread pudding. This time it's raisin bread pudding. It'll be pumpkin bread pudding for the uh, harvest festival that comes up. And your tea that I made for you today is called Yorkshire know, Gold. It's to... from England. And it's an English Ooh. black tea. It's my favorite. It's the only <laughs> one I've been drinking for 26 years. For 26 years. By the way, happy belated birthday. Oh, you thank celebrated you. a good good birthday recently. A big one. Yeah. You made you... me feel old. Oh, well, you look amazing. Oh, you shouldn't feel you. old at all. You're doing something fun here in Julian and bringing it all to all of us in San Diego. We're excited to come out and visit. I know that people, once they see, sometimes they see it and they say, I want to come out there. Is it hard? or reservations tough to get right now? No. Okay. But uh, when they know ahead to let us know, we are even have reservations for our annual Christmas teas. I'm not sure what it's going to be because of uh, COVID, but I, my regulars that have been coming 10, 15, 20, 25 years need to get the reservations in, so I hold them a spot. How many outside can we sit around a table, say I want to go and I want well, to bring right Shelly and Raul and take, right the people in my quarantine group? Right now four groups outside, okay. uh, anywhere from two to six or eight. Okay. And they can sit outside. In here, we'll probably, this table takes a six, maybe we, maybe a seven. And when we come inside, this will be the one we use. If they go to 50%, then I'll be able to use the second table. Yeah. But we maybe use the other rooms. We'll have to see what it all brings. I want to try some of you said pumpkin soup, and you make everything homemade. Do you, is it daily, or how are you guys working out of well, here? Well, we, we, the pumpkin soup we can make, and we can mm. freeze. That's good. Yeah, you guys got a lot of work to do here. Just a right. couple of you working around. Is this fun? Yeah, you it's have a very good time fun. doing I the have, tea. Yeah, I have the nicest ladies. I started out <laughs> with my friends helping me. They all gave up and retired. So now I have a nice new bunch of ladies that like to come and have tea, and I'm very fortunate. I feel like I'm sitting in, you know, just like my family living room or something right well, now. Well, that's the kind of feeling we like to yeah. get. We call it as a homey country type of tea house. Yeah. And I saw for apple days, there are all kinds of apple teas and apple we cider teas. We have our teas. apple teas over here on the table. You'll see all sorts of the hot apple cider. We have pumpkin spice and caramel apple. Those are three of the favorites. Yum. Over there for you to sample too. I'd like you to, there's a cranberry um, jam that you can sample. So yummy. I got to tell you what, I've always thought that tea, um, is this Sholly that I'm talking about to you? I thought tea was always what, um, 
uh, ruined your teeth. Like I thought that it was what made your teeth not Acidic. white. And I actually think that it's more coffee and red wine combo. Yeah. <laughs> so, so the tea is probably not uh, going to do it. <laughs> I, I'm sure it's they the all wine. have an effect. <laughs> they all have an effect. But if you have the lighter teas, like the white teas, the peach teas, right? The green teas. Yeah. And they have kids' teas here, too, which is really cool. So oh, um, there's a little bit of something for everybody. Yeah, I love, love, love Julie. And Heather, thank you.